Uh, greetings everyone, I'm Floyd Gordon and today we're just looking at two financial management concepts. We're looking at the holding period return and annualized return. All right, so here we go. Holding period return. Selling price minus purchase price plus dividend or interest income, whichever applies. I will divide the answer by the purchase price. All right, so selling price minus purchase price plus either the dividend income or interest income divided by the purchase price. Now, if there's no dividend or interest income, then we just ignore that part of the formula. Or we just set that amount to zero. All right, let's work through an example. Here, a stock purchased for $55 was sold for $87 in one year, and a dividend of $5 was received during the year. All right, and we have to calculate the holding period return. So the selling price, 87, minus the purchase price, 55, plus the dividend of $5, all divided, all divided by $55, and that gives us 0 0.6727, which multiplied by 100 gives us 67.27%. Right, so this is an approximate 67% on this investment. Now, this return was earned exactly one year. So, since it was earned in one year, then we also look at this as our annual return for the year. However, sometimes the holding period is either more than a year or less than a year. And in that case, then we would have to learn how to annualize the return to find out what the return would have been over a one year period. So here we go. The annual, right, annualized return is equal to one plus the holding period return. I would normally use that as a decimal raised to the power, and the power is, and we can put it in brackets, 12 divided by the number of months. And after we work that out, we subtract 1 from the answer. If it was weeks, then the power would be 52 over the number of weeks. If it was days, it would be 365 divided by the number of days. Right? So it's one year period, either 12 months for the year, 52 weeks for the year, or 365 days for the year divided by the number of months, weeks, or days that we are dealing with. And it's important to remember to subtract one at the end. So let's work through this example. All right, so our client earned a holding period return of 15% over a six week period. What's the annualized return? So we're using the second formula because here we're using six weeks. So the, annual, the holding period return is 15%. Or as a decimal, it's 0 0.15. Raising it to the power 52 divided by number of weeks was 6. So here we go. This is what we have. And as analyze return is equal to 1 plus 15%, 0 0.15. Raised to the power, and it's always safe to use brackets to ensure we do the power correctly. So it's 52 divided by 6. And of course, don't forget to subtract 1 from your answer. So here, our final answer, 2.3577, which multiplied by 100, will be 235.77%, or roughly 236%. All right, so guys, let's keep practicing good stuff. Once you practice, you'll master. So don't practice until you get it right. Practice until you cannot get it wrong. That's how mastery is achieved. All right, so see you guys again soon.